Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Arthur Wears and today I'm going to be talking to you about my new vacuum cleaner. It's the Dyson V8 cord free vacuum cleaner, part of it here that you can see. Now I am going to show you the vacuum in action shortly. Um, but I just want to talk you through all the different parts first so it's obvious what I'm using when I show you. Um, and it's also really easy to empty and clean this vacuum cleaner. So if we have a look here, um, on the top of the vacuum cleaner is, is a little uh, bin symbol. And all you have to do is lift this up all the way and then the bottom empties, opens, um, which means all of the dust and everything that's been collected in here will empty straight into your bin. So please make sure you do this when you're standing over a bin. Don't just, don't just open it when you're on your floor. Um, otherwise you'll have to just vacuum it all up again. And it means that you've got easy access to this, this filter here so you can just uh, pull away any bits of hair or dust that may have got trapped as well. To close it, First of all, you push the top back down and then you close the bottom, just like this. I also want to show you the charging base for the Dyson V8 cordless vacuum cleaner because this is so compact and so easy to charge um, and store away so it's not intrusive in your house. It's great if you have an apartment or a flat or, or maybe like we have a, a new build house that hasn't got a lot of storage this is great because um, this charging unit is also a way of storing your vacuum cleaner now I haven't actually fixed this one to the wall yet um, you do need to buy your own fixtures and fittings to fix it onto the wall but I just wanted to show you how uh, how this works so as you can see on the back you would just run the cord through this section here and then the little plug that actually goes into your vacuum cleaner is through here like this um, and this cord goes all the way down to the plug socket on the end so what you would need to do is find a little cupboard space or a corner or somewhere that you've decided that you want to keep your vacuum cleaner somewhere that's got easy access to a plug socket um, and you would plug it in you would have this fixed onto the wall and um, I'll show you how the Dyson actually fits on so you would get your Dyson like so and this uh, battery section here just fits straight in it clips on and then you close it shut and then this would hang on your wall like this this is where your vacuum cleaner would be stored um, and that will include your um, pipe section as well and there's space underneath for, for uh, two of the smaller attachments on your vacuum cleaner as well so it's an amazing storage solution and to take it off you once it's attached to the wall you basically just pull it out and pull it back down again like so on the top you can see you have two different settings for the suction you have the regular powerful suction setting which lasts for up to 40 minutes on a full charge um, 25 minutes with a motorised head and you have the maximum uh, mode here which you would just flick across to which will uh, which will last for seven minutes
There is just one drawback for me personally, um, and that is that um, these ends, these attachments, in fact, none of none of the attachments that come with the Dyson uh, vacuum vacuum cleaner um, work with vacuum storage bags, which I use a lot because we are short on space. I often put Arthur's uh, clothes that don't fit him into vacuum bags, uh, different season clothes for myself, I would vacuum pack and put away in the loft. Um, and when we travel as well, I would put my clothes in my suitcase in a vacuum bag and then uh, suck all of the air out of them so I've got more space in my suitcase. And unfortunately, um, the ends of the Dyson vacuum cleaner don't create a suction because it's not just uh, you know it's it's not just one end. You've got all these different parts to it as well for the for the buttons where the fixtures and fittings go. So that's the only drawback for me. Um, I would love for Dyson to bring out an end that would fit onto a vacuum bag that would make this uh, product literally one hundred percent perfect.